Hello, welcome to Talk To Me Thursday. This is part two. We're going to be talking about something very close to my heart and hopefully yours as well as YouTubers. We're talking about YouTube milestones. So what is a YouTube milestone? I guess really it's different for every single person who has a YouTube account. So where my YouTube milestones might be different from yours, it's quite nice to see what the comparison is and what people treasure for being on YouTube. So here are mine. Yes, a hundred subscribers. It doesn't have to be a hundred, it could be a hundred, it could be two subscribers. You might only want a couple, so that might be your milestone for you. It could be a thousand, a million, a hundred thousand, however many subscribers you want. So for me, mine is a hundred, because I would love to be in the three digits, really. That's pretty much one of my milestones, and I would love to reach a hundred. I've got about 70 subscribers now, so it'd be great to just boost them all up and then when I've got 100 subscribers I will be a really happy bunny. I'll probably do a one-off let's play or, uh, I don't know, a showreel of some sort or like a, an outtakes or something like that. So just to say thank you, because you guys are subscribing so that just makes me feel awesome, so thank you. It doesn't have to be 10,000 views, it can be however many you want. But for me, because I'm roughly at 8,000 views, to get up to 10,000 would be wicked. I'd quite like that, it would be great. Basically it means you guys like watching my things and you, you, you think it's awesome. Now being featured doesn't necessarily mean being featured just on YouTube. It could be being featured in an article that someone wrote on a completely different website. Or it could be featured on Twitter, it could be featured by someone else, it could be anything really. I've never been featured before so it would be great, it would be a milestone for me to be featured somewhere. In a good way. I would hate to be featured in a really rubbish way, like this girl sucks, don't ever watch her stuff. That's one for me personally because I love the idea that YouTube is now like a big community of people that blog together, they collaborate together, create content together, um, just share the whole experience of YouTube and I really like the idea that maybe one day I could be part of like a mini community like that as well. So for example, if you know Tobuscus, Toby Turner, then you might know of Jack's films and Sean Klitzner and them three now make up the Sideburns crew. You know, it's developments like that, that's just awesome. You know, if you know about one, you're more likely to know about the other and it's just great. I'd love to be part of something like that. Here in Britain, we have Alex Day and Charlie McDonald, which is Charlie is so cool like and Nary Mom. And they, they're they hilarious, them two together. They're like best friends and you can see it as well. It's just, it's lovely. I'll, I'll post a link to everyone who I've mentioned down below. Uh, but yeah, they're they're great and I would love to have a partner in crime to just, you know, vlog together or play video games online together and post it up and share it with you guys. Oh, getting a letter or getting an email saying, well done, I really liked what you did with this. It would just be so much fun to have and I, I love it. I've already gotten a couple of people who sent me emails, um, which I, I just think is just great and you know who you are and mwah, I love you so, so much. It's great. It's nice to hear what you guys think of my stuff and that basically means that you can tell me recommendations, you can tell me where I'm going wrong, you can say I don't like what you've done here or your sound was a bit crappy here, fix it. Or you could tell me really nice things like I really love your layout, I like how, I don't know, I like your, your, your structure, your schedule, your I like things that you've done and I like your Twitter page. Fan mail is just anything. If I could, I would love to get fan mail from each and every single one of you and get to know you on a personal level as well. I think being in touch with the people who you're creating content for is so important, you know, to get feedback and to look at what you're doing and then make it better so that you guys are having a better time and I get to know you and you get to know me. And it's just, it's nice. Well, let's just cuddle. Shall we cuddle? Let's, let's, let's cuddle. Let's cuddle. I obviously have another account 
which is just for, you know, watching random YouTube videos of kittens and puppies and funny things and posting it up and sharing it with everyone. But this is the this is the channel that's my baby, and I I love D-pad games as a, as a concept, and I I would love to have it to continue on for a year. Yeah, that would be a big 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 milestone for me. So yes, a year or five years or ten years, because really, if you reach the year and nothing's happened and the account has closed down or whatever, it would feel a bit like a failure to me. So let's hope that I'll still be here in a year. Making partner is probably one of the most important ones for me because that's kind of why I set out to do D-pad games in the first place. I would love to make partner, it would just be great. The videos that I make are, for now, let's play videos. You come with me on that journey and it's it's nice. But then I'd like to integrate some more stuff, like maybe some video game news, more blogging getting to know what you guys would like from me and taking the suggestions and stuff so that would be another milestone for me. Now you know about my milestones I'd like to know about yours. Let me know what you consider to be your milestones because they might be completely different to what I've got and it would be nice to, to just get to know you guys so le leave comments down below or email me, tweet me, anything really. Get, get in touch and let's and let's discuss.